Lucas Media. I'm about to give y'all a quick post fight interview from Shakur Stevenson. I'll break down the fight and my personal thoughts on everything. Single round, but Dela Santos offensively barely existed. Stevenson now a three division world champion. He does that in a span of just nine fights. Shakur, what does it mean for you to beat a three division champion at just 21 fights? Uh, I really don't care about it. Um, I had a bad performance tonight. Here you getting booed. Uh, that's all I'm really focused on. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't feeling too good. So uh, I'll live with it. It's okay. Um, I came here, got the victory, and that's all I wanted to do. Shakur, you seem like a one-handed fighter tonight. You only landed 21 left hands. I know you wouldn't talk about it, and, and Papa wouldn't tell me anything about your left hand. Was your left hand hurt? Hey, listen here. I don't. I don't got nothing to say about that. I don't make no excuses. Um. It happens. We go through a lot as a fighter. Uh, I'm good. What are you? All right, y'all. So, for those who watched the fight, it was pretty much a snooze fest. Shakur really didn't throw the left hand. Um, it was it was it was a bad fight. I mean, from round one up, I'm like, okay, you know, they both trying to get a feel for each other. That's what it seemed like. And then it just. It just felt like that in the entire fight. Shakur was backpedaling a lot of times. Uh, Dos Santos, he didn't really take big risks like that either. And, you know, round four, five, six going on. And us, everybody, we thinking, okay, he, they finna start opening up at some point. You know, I get it. Y'all respecting each other's power. But at some point, Shakur is going to take it to the next level. And it never happened. <laughs> Even the commentators. Just the, Pretty much stopped talking about the fight to a degree. And they just kept talking about how boring it is. And the Santos need to take make chances and take chances. And but same thing for Shakur. I mean, he wasn't throwing the left hand. He threw a quick a couple punches here and there. And it just it almost seemed like they was dancing in the ring. Right? So yeah, the fans was getting upset and all you hear people go boo. <laughs> people was booing and you know, what a terrible performance from Shakur Stevenson. And he had people hyped up because he'd been going at the media. He'd he been pretty much talking about Devin Haney in every interview. And I, I say this all the time, man, I'm a fan of boxing, right? So I'm a fan of all these, these fighters, especially at 135 pounds. However, you, you, you talking all of this, you feel like the world against you. You feel like the media turned on you. Uh, don't nobody know what they're talking about but you go out there on a thursday night already so people already got to stay up and you know some people got work and job and their kids got school on the east coast and you put on a snooze fest i ain't even gonna front y'all i kind of dozed off for maybe like maybe a minute or two in the in the 11th round because wasn't nothing happening it just neither one of the fighters wanted to really take risk i mean they're saying shakur wasn't feeling too well Maybe he hurt his hand. I don't know. But then he said, I do. He did say he ain't going to make no excuses. And he did say he had a, a, a off night. But y'all make fun of every other fighter. Let let, let Devin Haney would have done something like that. And then Devin Haney and them, they're online now talking about. <laughs> he said he, he was being generous. He should have offered 10%. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, uh, so for my naysayers who be in the chat, if he offered you you offer somebody 25 a 25 percent purse somebody who's who has a, who wasn't a champion at 135 pounds was offered a 25 percent purse i mean that's a that's a nice deal now tim i did see an interview where tim bradley said that he still feel like shakur is that guy and people will jump off the bandwagon and you know i also agree you know i still think he's one of the best fighters at 135 pounds and i can't just necessarily say Devin or Tank will just beat him even even with this off night. But they, he definitely need another tune-up fight. I mean, he can book a fight pretty much in a couple of months because they, they didn't really do nothing. But no, but like I said, about the same, you know, Tim Bradley, he said people gonna jump off the bandwagon. And yeah, especially after a, a, a off night performance like that. I mean, come on, Shakur, you can't be on a on a press run and and you're dogging Devin Haney and you got people out there thinking you're going to beat Devin Haney and then you put on a snooze fest. 
So I don't know. That's just my quick thoughts on it. I, I'll more than likely go more in depth and give another review over this weekend. But y'all put in the comments, man, what y'all think about the fight?